Hey, what's the crack and welcome to or back to the channel. In today's episode, I wanted to quickly show you all the various ways in which you can edit or retime your keyframes that you may have already set in the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. So here I have a super simple bit of motion graphics we can see in our nodes here that the transform node has this extra icon and this icon lets us know that there is keyframing taking place on that node. So if I select that, you can see that on our timeline here, we have some indicators of where those keyframes are placed, but we cannot actually edit those keyframes there. To actually edit keyframes, we have to come up towards the top right of the user interface here and click on the keyframes window. The first thing that I will always recommend here is clicking on the three buttons at the top right of the keyframe window and selecting show only selected tools. If you do require to see multiple nodes, then you can control or command click on the extra nodes that you need and they will show up. In our case, we only need the one. Next, you'll want to come over to just beside the word transform one, you have a little drop down arrow icon. You can toggle that and that will reveal any keyframes available to that node. Now, in our case, the only thing we've added keyframes to is the center parameter. But say, for example, we had size and aspect also keyframed, we would have two extra channels there, one for size and one for aspect. We can use this magnifying glass icon to draw a rectangle with our mouse in the area we want to zoom into conveniently. And then just to the left of that, this other icon we can use to do a zoom to fit. If we click and drag along the timeline, we can also use that to zoom in and out. And if you want to move the playhead up and down the timeline, you need to ensure that you click directly on the playhead and then drag. The first set of techniques we're going to cover for retiming keyframes is just simply clicking and dragging with your mouse on the user interface. Starting with clicking and dragging a single keyframe at a time, we can retime keyframes as we see fit. Next, we can click and drag our mouse to draw a square over the keyframes we want to select to select multiple keyframes and click on any of those keyframes to move them all together. Depending on what you have going on here, clicking and dragging a rectangle to select keyframes can be a touch clunky. So the next best option is to control or command click multiple keyframes. Then again, you can click any one of those selected keyframes to drag them all together. We can also then click anywhere along this channel here, except for directly on an existing keyframe. And what this will do is allow us to move all the keyframes, but maintain their spacing. Next, I want to show you an example of how we can copy and paste keyframes. As it stands, we have a left keyframe, a center keyframe, a center keyframe, and a right keyframe. So that our text fries in from the left, stays in the middle, and then flies out to the right. First, I'm going to delete this last keyframe, which is our right position. Then I'm gonna select the first keyframe, which is our left position, and I'm gonna hit Control or Command C. Next, it is really important that you click somewhere on the channel that you intend to paste that keyframe to, to ensure that it is highlighted so that Fusion knows where to paste it to. Then you're going to want to move the playhead to where you want to paste that keyframe because that's where it'll be pasted to. Then I'll just hit Control or Command V to paste it. Now our animation flies in from the left, stays in the middle and flies back out to the left. Now we're going to take a look at these three options down at the bottom. Time, T Offset and T Scale. Starting with Time. This is best used if you know exactly the frame on the timeline you need a keyframe to be. So for example, this keyframe right now is on frame number 12 of the timeline. If I know I want this to be on frame 24, I can type in 24, hit enter, and that will move that keyframe to frame 24 of the timeline. Next is T offset. This is best for when you know how many frames you want to move a keyframe by and you don't want to do the math of adding that on for the timeline value. 
First, you want to select the frame or frames that you want to offset. Then make sure that you toggle the drop down menu and select T offset. Then in our case, we want to move this by 12 frames further into the timeline. So we'll do a plus value of 12. And this has offset our selected keyframe by 12 frames. We can offset selected keyframes in the opposite direction by using a minus value. So in this case, minus 12 brings that keyframe back to its original position. And lastly, T scale. T scale allows you to multiply or divide the spacing between keyframes based on the position of your playhead. And that is a really important point based on position of the playhead. So to show you this, we'll do two examples. First, retiming a single keyframe. First, select the keyframe that you wish to move. Then move your playhead to the other keyframe that you wish to make that movement about. This has set the spacing or the timing with which Fusion will multiply out using that T scale option. So for example, I want to double this spacing. So I will hit 2.0 into the text box and hit enter. And this has doubled our timing of those two keyframes. If you want to divide that spacing, we can type in 0.5 and that will half this spacing. This is particularly handy because you can retime keyframes with very precise multipliers or dividers without having to do the math and finding the exact frame to equate to that timing. And lastly, using T scale to retime multiple frames. So I'm going to move my playhead to frame zero and I will just do a click and drag to select the first two keyframes. Now, if I do a multiplier of times two, you can see that they both got multiplied out, which means keyframe one got doubled relative to the playhead and keyframe two got doubled out relative to the playhead. So there you have it, a wide range of techniques that you can use to retime or edit the position of your keyframes in Fusion within DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you found this video helpful, please do consider giving it a thumbs up as well as subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so that you can catch more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. We came to fight.